guys, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new, welcome! Hi! For today's video, we are continuing, we are jumping straight back into Better Call Saul with Season 2, Episode 1, Switch. The first season was a lot of world building, character building, a lot of what made Jimmy, like, come to be Saul. But we got the background on Jimmy, we got the background on Mike, and we kind of got to see all the characters and how everybody's living and what's going on. We're gonna see how this is gonna go. I'm really excited, I love this show, I'm so excited to jump into season two, and I hope you're gonna join me. If you guys are interested in watching my full-length uncut reaction to every episode, every movie, every day I watch, no cuts, I said that, be sure to check out my Patreon. Um, for those of you who are interested, I will be linking that down below in the description. I really appreciate you guys so much for joining me throughout all of this stuff. You guys are absolute sweethearts. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into Better Call Saul Season 1, Episode 1. No, Season 2, Episode 1, Switch. Cinnabon? Oh, now we're in present times. He's the manager of the Cinnabon in Omaha. I also saw a couple comments saying that there's no Cinnabon in Omaha or something. I thought that was pretty funny. It's crazy to see where he is now. From where we saw him with Chuck and the lawyers and stuff, and this is where he's at now. It's a perfect song for this, too. Honestly, perfect song for this moment. I also love how every mall in the US looks exactly the same. The US is huge, we run on malls and they all look identical. I wonder where Kim and Chuck and everyone is right now. He got locked in here? Hey, hey! Cell phone on you? Why would you? Oh, that sucks that it just locks from the outside like that. Jimmy in the garbage, you know, it's, you know, he's really familiar with it. Maybe you shouldn't have the other door locked like that. Can you climb out? Yeah, he doesn't want to talk about it. Saul Goodman was here. I don't know how to explain how the beginning made me feel. He just like had such a bright future, like he worked so hard and he was so valuable and then look at him. Clifford Maine. Just Jimmy. It's a pleasure to meet you, Clifford. Likewise, we know all about your work on Sandpiper. We know the case wouldn't exist without you. Absolutely. Once you get him on your team, you'll know why I call him Charlie Hustle. Howard's growing on me. At first I thought we were against him and he was against Jimmy completely. But now that we know Chuck was behind everything, I, I feel better about Howard. If I take this job, does that mean the two of us with Davis and me? Does that mean that you and me? Is this, is this gonna happen? Huh? Like friendship? Relationship? What are we talking about? One thing has absolutely nothing to do with the other. Yeah, I wouldn't. Great. So. It's good he wanted to check at least. Listen, I just want to say okay. thank you sincerely for your interest in me. It's an honor to be considered. He's like, but I need to set this my priorities time, straight. I'm gonna have to take myself out of the running. Uh, Jimmy. Oh, so he just wanted to make sure he was gonna ruin his chances. Did I dream it? Or did I have $1,600,000 on my desk in cash? And I thought that he just didn't. We could have gone home with $800,000 each. Why didn't we? I remember you saying something about doing the right thing. Me personally, I was hired to do a job. I did it. I know what stopped me. It's never stopping me again. So this is where we left off. The last season. 
Ciao, Caco. This is Nguyen. It's a beautiful day out there. You should get out of this. I have a business to run. The business is running you. Cucumber water for customer only. <gasps> Why is he doing that? <laughs> what is the message he's trying to send? Like I moved his tie out of the <laughs> out of the way. You really sent her a message there, Jimmy. I'm just gonna let it happen because I have a lot of questions. A Hummer. From afar, it looked like a heavily armored vehicle. He bought himself a Hummer. With flames on the side and spinning rims, this man clearly knows what his, where his priorities are. Hey. Mike is not going to be impressed at all. I got a new car. You like it? We're not taking that to the meet. I'll drive my car. This business requires restraint. It's too identifiable as well. I mean, I'm proud of it. Buddy. And you'd be proud of it on your own time, <laughs> but not with me. I'm not getting in that. You don't really do anything. Yeah, I've been paying you the salary of three people to just stand behind me. Oh my god, here we go. This, these last few deals, this nacho fellow, he's been coming alone. Because look at you. If I it wasn't, just go alone. If it wasn't for Mike? I'm throwing away money. You are not. You are. You have a safety net. But I'm advising you, do not go to that meet without someone washing your back. Of course you're going to say that. You don't want to be out of this easy peasy job. This is the gravy train and it's leaving the station right now. He's going to, he's being very naive. He's going to get what's coming to him. Seriously, last chance. I'm going to count to Leia? Seven, 10 and then I'm- His license plate says Playa. He's going to regret doing this. Even if Nacho hypothetically comes alone, it's really easy to take advantage of him. I can't wait to see this go so horribly wrong. Hola. <laughs> He's like, what? The old guy? What, did he break a hip or something? We, we parted ways. Yeah, saw things differently. Don't give him that information. He doesn't need to know that. You are trying to protect yourself from this man. This is interesting. You like it? Can, Can I something? take a look? Oh, be my guest. Then Get in. Possibly Check get it out. in like a lot of trouble. Because remember, he needs to keep this on the DL. No, draw no attention to himself. Get in. Feel the leather. V8 engine, 325 horsepower. Count this quick. Do your thing. Make sure it's right. He's making this. He's trying to see if he has a gun or something. Also going to steal it. Okay. Never are keep good. your registration in the car. And as always, you're welcome to count them. I trust you. Thank you. He's gonna, but don't trust him. He's gonna steal your car or something. Or he got more information about him. I don't know. <laughs> Suzzy. Saul, I mean, Jimmy is living the life that I want to live. Hello? Yes, this is James McGill, but I'm no longer a lawyer. Bye. <laughs> so, this is what a midlife crisis looks like? Midlife clarity. Clarity. It's crap. Why are you acting like this? I'm not acting like anything. Finally decided to be me. Everything okay, Mr. Cumpston? I'm good with this. I'll tell you what, Mr. Cumpston. If you really want to talk, I'll be in the bar. She means business. What do you mean quit the law? I quit it. Simple as that. Thanks for explaining, Jim. <laughs> Great explanation. Well, I can't die without trying a $50 shot at tequila, so uh, two. I am paying. And he will be having a shot of your well brand, and I'll have a glass of your house ready. Did something happen in Cicero? Why did something have to happen in Cicero? When I talked to you about Davis and Main, you were ready to take the job. What are you, in the mafia now? My life since Chuck made me come to Albuquerque. Ever since I got here, all I've done is try to make Chuck happy. He just wants to make himself happy now. You quitting the law, isn't that exactly what Chuck wants? <laughs> That's so true. I, I got into the law for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> Jimmy, you're a great lawyer. Convincing people, I don't have to be a lawyer to do that. Short it. Short it. Short that shit. That stock is useless. It's got no legs. Please do me a favor. Take a pillow. Put it over that stock's face until you hear the deathbed queef. If you're not going to be a lawyer, then what? Do we have to listen to all that? Okay, then. What's the plan? To be open to the universe. Okay, so no plan. 
whatever opportunity arises, I will take it. Wasn't Davis and Maine an opportunity? Kim is the voice of reason. She's trying to keep everyone together. It's not for me. I don't want it. Jimmy, do you remember how long you studied for that bar? That's a sunk cost fallacy. It's what gamblers do. They throw good money after bad, thinking they can turn their luck around. It's like, I've already spent this much money or time or whatever. I gotta keep going. No, there's no reward at the end of this game. I don't get it. It's what's it. right for me. Pure donkey balls, dude. Do we have to listen to this jerkwad? I can make a million dollar stock trade on my laptop sitting on a toilet. Like Midas, shit gold bricks on my throne. This guy's so annoying. That fart had the anger of a repressed minority. <laughs> what is this? Fart like that in someone's face, you're gonna give them pink eye for life. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, me. You wanna understand what I'm talking about? Follow my lead. Please scam that man. Uh, sorry, I don't want to make it sound like I was eavesdropping, but I kind of was. Uh, we heard you talking about stocks. Uh-huh. Yeah, so question, uh -huh. if you could settle a debate between me and my sister. Okay, here's the question. Uh, when it comes to the stock market, is there like a financial limit to how much a person's allowed to invest? A limit? Why does he look so like disgusted? See, no limit. Told you we could invest it all. Invest all your money, just make sure you He's diversify. He's gonna try and sell his services. Yeah. What do you mean, uh, diversify? Oh, don't put all your eggs in one basket, right? Same principle. Thank you. Now, if I had an idea of the money we're talking about, ballpark, I could give you examples of smart diversification. My uncle on our father's side recently passed, and he left us 1.4 million. We could quadruple the whole inheritance, right? Fortune favors a bold man. That's where someone like myself comes in. Proven track record as a wealth manager. I take calculated but aggressive risks because I want to catch lightning, and I do. There's a little booth over here. There's some privacy. We can talk. No obligations. We can just, just rap about this a little bit. He sees an opportunity. He wants to take it. My name's Ken, by the way. Uh, Victor with a K. Cool. Victor with a K. And this lovely lady is? Giselle St. Clair. Ah, lovely. Exotic names. Our father's side of the family is from South Africa, which is where Uncle Humphrey passed away. The girl beautiful down there, right? Charlize Theron? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh. I love that. Uh, we are sitting here now, so uh, we can use a wine list if we get a chance. Hey, uh, are you a tequila fan? Yes. You ever try Zafiro Nejo? Through whatever she just said. They're getting free drinks from him, is that it? Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> talks about his car. He talks about... <laughs> <laughs> How many is he taking? Because it seems like they've been drinking for quite some time. Oh my god, did we drink the entire bottle? No, oh, yeah, we didn't. <laughs> hey, cool. hey, hey, cheers. Come on, I think we're ready for the check. To be clear, you... Take the money directly from our account and invest it. Never spot. And then all the dividends and all the profits and the what have you comes back into our account. And you'll get a detailed statement showing you how much your money is growing. Biggest bulls of the month, etc. Let's do this. Folks, it's been a pleasure. Oops, I got that. Can't let you do it, son. Wait, what? Ken, <laughs> we're the greatest. They really played him. Hey, this will be the best decision you'll ever make. Oh, I believe it. All right, well, they we should really get out of your played them. How wait, much did he wait, wait, wait. get this? charged? I want to know how much he's paying. $50 a shot. So they did it minimum two rounds. Call me, guys. Right? Bye. Try and stop us. <laughs> okay, so minimum 300. He's not even going to look. He's going to look. Hey, is this right? Yes, sir. It is. I want to know the amount. The fear on Yeho! Holy crap. Thank you. They're like, this guy is a dillweed. Let's. Let's destroy his wallet. I like that they targeted like someone who is clearly not the best individual. Oh, spicy. Oh my God, what if he comes out and it's like, thought you were siblings. Oh my. Can I borrow that when you're done? <clears throat> no, that's gross. How's it gross? Our germs are already intermingled. My toothbrush is different. No, come on. I'll do it right now. I don't care. I need to brush my teeth. I don't have an extra, it's not my problem. No! Ah! Wait till you see what I floss with. <laughs> oh, they're like a couple couple. She got a nice place. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we could do that every night? Yes, it would, but we can't. Howard is doling out assignments and the last one through the door could get stuck in dock with you. You got somewhere to go? Yeah, uh, yeah, I got somewhere. I can't believe she has like her own house. I just like, 
also they're probably like in their mid they're in their like mid 30s <gasps> no he got ratted he got ratted why does this house looks like straight out of star wars yeah please come on in it's over here see what they did and they're all gone all of them i had a baseball card collection uh was it common knowledge that you have baseball cards no not really he didn't want the car not sure didn't want the car he saw the address was like okay he must be buying a lot of stuff is anything else taken cash a fair bit uh, um how much cash i don't know you know let's focus on what's important here you know all i really care about are my baseball cards if they're taken out and exposed to the elements i mean or creased god forbid god forbid yeah they're creased i understand the first 48 hours are the most important in investigations like this so the more time passes, I mean, the less likely we are of a recovery. I mean, are you sure they weren't looking for anything else? Like what? I don't know. I assume more They're baseball cards. Pretty sweet Hummer parked in the driveway. Are yours? Yeah, that's mine. Uh, it's Elise. You know, they say Arnold Schwarzenegger is a reason that Hummers exist. I don't know how, but that's what they say. Who is they? Wait, I need someone to fact check that. What kind of work someone do you do, Mr. Wormel? Uh, I work IT for a pharmaceutical company. God, I should have gotten into computers. The priority is my baseball cards. Of course. Uh, can I get you the list so you can start investigating? Yeah, you, yeah, if you can get us that list. Okay, I'll, I'll print it out. Gotta breathe, just keep breathing. They're like, this guy's dealing drugs, right? Left the TV, uh -huh. left the computer, right? There's something else. There's something wrong with this picture. Oh, the drugs are in the couch. I can't watch this. I cannot watch this. I'm watching it anyway, though. Were they clever enough to do this? Really? Oh, gosh. Okay, well, nothing was in there. Oh, he's gonna get some burn. He's really taking a risk with the phone doing that. Hey, it's me. Another perfect day in paradise out here. I'm in the pool. Call me. Oh, I thought he was looking at the guy. Yeah, it's me again. Not 25 feet away from me. I'm looking at the mark. I think Thurston Howell III, if he checked up with Ginger. <laughs> it's dripping in Gucci. But I'm watching the fattest, slowest water buffalo expose his neck to me, and I am the lioness ready to strike. Join me. Join, Join me. Join the pride. <laughs> Him. I said lioness because it's the females who do all the hunting. National Geographic thing. Anyway, Very good. Get out here. He's like not even worried. Like what is social anxiety? This man is staring at them. They would have noticed. The one person here is just dead eyeing them. It's a really shallow pool. Three feet six inches. That's like, yeah. Got a third call. Santa Fe, New Mexico. I need the number of a law firm, Davis and Maine. Yes, he is taking the job. Then what happens? He doesn't. He clearly doesn't stay there. Now that he got more of the fun out of his system again. It looks very. It looks like a hotel. It looks good though. It's very different than what the, the other law firms we've seen. Is a good thing? They look excited to meet him. There are a few options on the company cars. And that's we can office. arrange a test drive whenever you'd like. Company car, wow. And if you find you're not happy with it, it's not a big deal to change it out. This is uh, interesting. If this isn't to your taste, we have a collection of art in-house you can uh, choose from. That's really cool. It's awesome! I, I like this. Any other needs you have? Office supplies, dietary needs, anything special you want stocked in the fridge? Humidifier? Oh, this is a bougie, bougie place. I don't hey, do you think, think this is gonna um, be his taste, I'm just looking though. at this. Do we get a choice of desks? What were you thinking? Is it possible, um, Coco Bolo? Absolutely. I'll get right on that. I wouldn't feel comfortable making, like, demands and stuff right off the bat. I'd be like, thank you so much for all this. This is amazing! I would like live in here. This place is awesome. 
It's like a dream. But he likes it. Oh god, it says do not lift. That's the one thing in the office. Oh, do not turn off. This is the one thing that is interest that interests you? He's gonna get fired. Oh no. This is the kind of mistake that somebody is gonna get fired for. Watch it's like someone's life support or, or something. I don't know. Let's just put it back on. I don't like this. I wanna know what happened. I'm not, I can't watch like a whole other episode just to figure out what happens. It looked like a really serious moment. That last scene made me so tense. I have no idea what that switch was, but I can almost guarantee that somebody's getting fired over that because that is a very... Also, if it's like that serious, maybe they should put like a glass box over it. And I feel like this episode was just another one of Jimmy kind of getting it all out in the open. There's little shenanigans out of the way and then he's like, okay, you know what? Kim's right. She is the voice of reason. I'm... I gotta stop with the shenanigans. I gotta be- I gotta come back to real life. I need a job. I need to, like, take care of myself. I need to have, like, a future. And the other guy, the one with the Hummer, should have had Mike there. Mike would have known what to do. He is not a good criminal. I guess it's good that the cops were, like, onto him. Like, they put the pieces together, because I wouldn't put it together. I'd be like, okay, we'll get on it. This is what you need. We're gonna file a report. It's fine. But they kinda- they paid attention to the clues, and I respect that. up wait wait i can't side with chuck he was really mean to jimmy but i still feel bad because i know the feeling it's frustrating someone at the door howard morning delivery for mcgill i was looking at that suit and i was like why is he here i hear music no no i was just let me get that for you you are sorely missed my friend uh, don't take that as any undue pressure i'm thinking of maybe coming in for an hour or two next week well, uh, if you feel comfortable. I really like how supportive Howard's being. I feel like he's not... Tr I, I always thought he was being fake, but I guess he's not. Getting on track with the uh, Sandpiper? Davis and Maine are uh, really pulling their weight. It's a complex case. Well, it's definitely not a two-man job, that's for sure. Anyone uh, heard from Jimmy? It's fine. I have some news. Are you going to tell him? You gonna he's tell working him? at Davis and Maine. Mm-hmm. Doing what? What do you think? Working as an attorney. Oh my, he really doesn't believe in Jimmy at all. Clifford Maine hired Jimmy. Mm -hmm. He had his doubts, but he's giving Jimmy a chance. Every time they would talk to a Sandpiper resident, Jimmy's name would come up. Cliff thought it would be a good idea for the case to have that sort of, uh, you know, continuity. Jimmy certainly has a way with people. He does. They're aware of his background. Why are you such a hater? I didn't pull any punches. I tried to paint a complete picture, but I didn't stand in the way. Of course not, nor should you. But that's what you always wanted him to do for you. Kim Wexler pushed for this hard, but I didn't stand in the way. Partner track? Yeah, assume so. Good for Jimmy. Charlie Hustle, yep. right? <laughs> He's clearly upset. Thanks for coming by, Howard. Anytime. <laughs> I feel really bad for misjudging Howard. I am so sorry. He seems like such a genuine good guy. And he made it very clear, I did not stand in the way of Jimmy getting this job, even though he had been basically advised to by Chuck. And now Chuck is unhappy. He's like, Jimmy cannot seriously be on my level. He looks down upon his brother, but he wants to get in the way. And I really like that Howard just took a step back. What? Document review will be coordinated through H.A. Jim ah. for any and all business agreements and contracts between Sandpiper and its distributors. They're flirting under the table. Five, records of residents' social security check receipts. That's She's flirting seven, with him. Invoices non-related to Sandpiper. Kim. 
welcome. So forward. How's Santa Fe? It's uh, really. What? See? Maybe I should leave HHM, get on that cushy DNM train. I'm so happy for you. She misses him though. I'm even thinking of looking, you know, my own place to buy. Maybe some place uh, closer to Albuquerque since I'm going between the two so much. Um, yeah, I was thinking. Uh, oh wait, what about Corrales? Corrales? Yeah, get a nice little bungalow, or maybe not so little. Uh, but I'm thinking I definitely want some decent acreage. Get oh, in touch really? with nature. Horses. He's gonna get horses. Jimmy's gonna have horses. He's not a horse man. Glass of wine on the back patio at sunset. Oh, and we should get one of those smokers. We could just barbecue Sweet. for days. Yeah, we definitely gotta get a smoker. Okay. They're delivering my new company car. Oh, are you serious? Jealous. She is jealous. Totally. Oh, I forgot I got your present. One sec. Why does that car just remind me of Kim? Like that that's that's Kim's car. Like you can just tell that is the kind of car she would have. <laughs> Such a beautiful wrapping job, it's a shame to open. <laughs> it's a gift. Be grateful. Just keeping it real. Second is still very, very good. It, it really, you know what? It is. She's got a point. Thanks. See you tonight? Maybe. Oh, okay, never mind. Definitely happening. Oh, they see what nice oh, they're finally getting rid of it. Oh my god, I cannot wait to see what kind of car he's gonna be driving. What's the company car? I am so excited. Hello, beautiful. Ooh. What do you think, ladies? Heated seats for those cold desert mornings. This must be what heaven looks like. She was looking at him with such like, I wouldn't say disgust, but like she's like, ugh, I go, okay, whatever. Oh, okay. Not changed those cups in a while. Is it the dumb Hummer? Oh, it is. Oh no. Oh, oh god. This is bad. Hey! <laughs> what are you doing here? What do you mean working? I work here. So is this the parking lot for the police station? It is. Why don't you pull around over there? We'll have a little talk. Okay. I'm a little bit concerned in regards to this little talk. This is the loudest vehicle I have ever seen, just visually. Why are you here? Somebody broke into my house and stole my property. Your drugs. Obviously, I didn't tell the cops that. I'm not stupid. You've already spoken to them. But it's not the drugs that I care about. It's my baseball cards I need back. <laughs> what? Your baseball He's cards. He's like... Very valuable collection of baseball cards, and someone stole them. It's probably a bad idea that you willingly talk to the police, being a criminal and all. He did not think that through. Just because I occasionally sell some pharmaceuticals, I no longer have a right to protection from crime? They have no idea about my other business. They have a little bit of an idea. If you already made your report, why are you here? They have a few more questions. They are very dedicated to finding this thief. <laughs> That means they're on to something else. Mike even knows that. They've invited you on a fishing trip. You're obviously under suspicion. In this blinking neon sign of a vehicle that says drug dealer, they will get you in there, pretend to be your friend, lull you into a false mm -hmm. sense of security, and then they will sweat you. You go home now. And if they call, you do not answer the phone. What about my baseball cards? The cost of doing business. No! I will Does take the, money the risk. Really worth no, you your won't. Life? because then you'll be putting my well-being at risk. Those cards, some of them were my dad's. I'm getting them back. Mike's baffled. He's like, I don't even know what to do with this, this goober. I'll find your cards. Oh, he offered his own service. That is so generous of you. Oh, it'll cost you. Oh. Yeah, you thought it was gonna be for free? Okay. Uh, Mike We should is a discuss man. some sort of financial arrangement in which I, I uh, I'm done with this conversation. You are dumb. He's really willing to give up his life for these baseball cards. Like, he is so naive. He's a criminal. And he's going to the police because he got robbed. But he had drugs in the house. Like, it's... Oh, God. I just... He's not... He's not very good at it. I want to know what that switch was. 
He's very corporate, look at him. I feel like it does not suit him. This is not his cup of tea. You could tell he feels like he's like a sore thumb. He's gonna go try and chat by the water cooler. You just walk into people's offices like that? Oh, he heard music. That makes sense. This is a really laid back office, not gonna lie. Come on in. I didn't mean to interrupt. Not at all. I was just blowing off some steam. <laughs> that's, what he, that's what it looked like to me. You play? Oh, I tried to learn in high school, but then I decided there were easier ways to get girls. <laughs> How are you settling in? Great. It's quite a step up for me. We're happy to have you. I might have found something in the initial disclosures. Schweikert and Coakley keep referring to the optional allowance program. So not a single one has opted out, which makes me think it's more of a mandatory financial arrangement. You might be onto something here. Mm -hmm. They look bad. Nice work, Jimmy. Thanks, Cliff. They were forced into it. They wanted to live there. Nice. Really good that he caught on to that. Hola. Welcome. How can I help you? You do cars? See, cars? Totally the you know, I, I was hoping to get my seats reupholstered. Oh. Oh, it's like a whole street. Ignacio Mijo! Vente, necesito! Ya voy! I don't know. I'm gonna look up the definition of a cobbler later. Is that nacho? That's why he's here, gotcha. Oh. Gracias. He's a busy man. Wow, he's got several jobs. He's got some side hustles. Wow. Me encantado tener el trabajo, pero se me hace que le conviene más usar ese dinero para el enganche de un nuevo carro. You should save your money and get a new car. Well, it has a sentimental value. Classic car. Mm. Oh, he's so nice. I like him. I was thinking leather, definitely. Maybe alligator. Quiere piel de cocodrilo. Too much money. Yeah, but like I said, it has a sentimental value. Look how sweet he looks. He doesn't look cold-blooded. He says uh, alligator's gonna look all wrong. Cheaper might be better. Show me what you'd pick. I really like that he's not just trying to, like, sell him. He's not trying to ruin his car. My son, he, he will help you. One-on-one. -on -one. Very nice. Let's have a little chat. Let's have a little chat. I'd try that again. <laughs> oh, wait. That's, like, so cute. His dad is so sweet. You saw, like, the soft side of Nacho. How'd you find me? Why are you here? Baseball cards. You saw that midlife crisis of a vehicle and wisely decided to cut ties with the man, and I don't blame you. I did, too. And then you ripped him off. But you underestimated just how big an idiot you were dealing with. He went to the cops. He called the police and reported them stolen. Yeah. Now they're nosing around. That sounds like a you problem. Good luck to you. You know, I was hoping you'd see our dilemma and do the right thing. But I think what we have here now is a carrot and stick situation. Are you coming here threatening my family? I'm not here to threaten your family. And the name of the stick is Tuco Salamanca. Ooh, he's gonna spill to Tuco. You don't play ball, so to speak. And Tuco finds out about your little side business. Is that a big enough stick? A pretty big stick. I prefer the carrot. You give me back the baseball cards, 10,000 in cash, and you net 60,000. No, exactly does that work? I just really want to point out how sweet and kind they were to each other. And then the second that they were alone, like a, a switch flipped and they were cold. Hey, going somewhere? Yes, we are. We? Where are we going? She's a little tricky around the corners. And you gotta go with the premium gas. And I would get her washed at least once a week. He's so annoying. She deserves the best. The worst I'll make sure the boys at the seen. chop shop are real gentle with her. Wait, well, why? No. Yes. You think I'd be caught dead driving that thing? Right? No one in their might right mind would drive that. <gasps> okay, that's actually like a lot of baseball cards. Okay, there's Jeter. We're missing one. There's Mantle. <laughs> we good? Uh, yeah, that looks like everyone. Yeah, they're here. Looks like everyone's here. Good on his word, I like that. And now the other item. What are you gonna say to him? Now, our business is concluded. You robbed him. I can't be threatening to him. I like how Mike just gets the job done. He's so good. You know, I 
can't help thinking an apology was in order. Get a, it's not worth it. Just get out of here. Jimmy, how are we doing with client outreach? Of course, given some of their uh, inconsistent organizational practices, it's going to be slow going. I'm so sorry to interrupt. She keeps it. I'm sorry, excuse me, Jimmy. I'm going to need everybody's phone, key fob. Oh, this is the day that Chuck decided to show. They're like, all right, guys, you know the drill. This is going to be a really awkward encounter. Chuck, welcome. Please, have a seat. Sorry for the interruption. Just pretend I'm not here. He's gonna be so I was saying, uh, getting uh, documents from some of the clients. I was visiting Mrs. Gustorf at uh, Sandpiper Santa Fe. We've got copies of this woman's monthly statements going back to March 1997. So our clients will always be our best resource. I feel like Chuck is going to try and put him down somehow. Chuck, I, oh, okay. I feel like Chuck is going to somehow do something to discredit him, make him feel inferior, or something of the sort. Jimmy, hello? Are you here to... Um... What are you doing here? My name is on the building. So great to have you here. If you need anything, I'll be in my office. Why are you here? To bear witness. James McGill. It's Zorman Trout. You're still morally flexible? Where and when? Never mind, the answer is yep. So we can um, help you get your property for you. Yeah, you know, uh, it's fine. The officers don't always get all the information we need in their report. Standard procedure. You're in an interrogation room. Can you just remind us exactly where you kept your cards in the house? As I was trying to say, it's no longer an issue. I found them. Where? Around the house? No, I, uh, I hired a private investigator and he tracked them down. You've wasted enough time on me. We just want to get the facts right so we can help close this case. He just said it's closed. It's done. Stop, Dan, I... Why don't you get some air? You can have some coffee. I'll finish up with the detectives here. Very nice. What is this, shakedown? Like, the man says it's done. Officers found Mr. Wormald's little hidey hole, and that's why you two are so interested in helping my friend here. But let me assure you, there's nothing illegal going on here. Then why is he so nervous? We all have our secrets, don't we? They are, however, very private. Drug dealer, maybe? No, he's being evasive because it's a sensitive subject and of no concern what? to law enforcement. What? What? what is the excuse he's gonna use? It's between uh, Mr. Wormald and uh, his art patron. My client has an arrangement with a wealthy gentleman. Mr. Wormald provides art in exchange for this gentleman's generous... Art? What do you mean by art? We'll call it patronage. Like what, painting? It's more like digital media. Okay, wait, okay, wait. I think I'm catching on. Private videos of an artistic nature guys this all comes down to a lover's spat two consenting adults had a falling out that happens and the uh, patron stole the videos and the baseball cards the headline here is it's all settled what was on these videos what do you think my man or private you said that okay so porn not no technically they would be categorized as fetish just a man, a fully clothed man, <laughs> I might add. Just... What is it? Actually, I don't even want to hear this. What is it? Like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Fully clothed. Mr. Wormall. Doing what? Yeah, come on, man. What? Squat cobbler. What? Or you know what squat cobbler is. No, I don't I don't know what a squat cobbler what is. is. Me neither. What is it? Okay, so we got the cobbler thing down. It wasn't the reupholstery place. Dutch apple ass. Am I not speaking English? Definitely here? not. What the hell is a squat cobbler? It's when a man sits in pie and he he wiggles around. Is that a real thing? Technically, he does a crybaby squat, so there's tears, which makes it more specialized. I can't believe that. I, I would, that sells me. I would believe it. Pies. What, like apple? Guys, I'm not the filmmaker here, right? That was the cobbler. It was about the pies. It wasn't about a shoemaker. Ugh. You got to be shitting this. Yeah, like I would make this up. He would. Hey. The world is a rich tapestry. Look what, he's, what do you do in the background? You cry and sit and pie. But trust I love me on that. this. You don't want to see it. So Jimmy came up with this beautiful idea to tell him that he sits in pies and cries. There is, however, one little tiny hanging <laughs> Chad. <laughs> what? What Chad? You're gonna have to make a video of him crying and sitting in a pie. I'm upset. 
obsessed. This is the funniest thing ever. I cannot wait to watch this. Those are pot. Those, those are pot. Oh my God, do it. So he oh. eats the pies or just sits in them? Both. How the hell did you come up with that? If you gave me a million years, I still would not have come up with me that. Either. The muse. She speaks through me. I see that. I am but a humble vessel. <laughs> well, to be fair, I think it was the video that clinched it. Oh, we didn't get to watch it. You you actually made a video? I, I gotta say, in the end, old Dan really committed. I wasn't sure how many uh, takes we would need, so I overbought. But I promise you, untouched by human I mean, you buttocks. would notice if that man sat in this pie. You used falsified evidence to exonerate a client. What if Davis and Maine find out you faked evidence? It wasn't a Davis and Maine client. Why would you risk the best job you've ever had for some pro bono case? I was doing a favor for a friend. It's Mike, okay? It's worth it. I didn't see you complaining when uh, Ken the douchebag paid our bar bill the other night. What's the difference? That had nothing to do with work. And we were just, just screwing around. This fabricating evidence. Jimmy, this could really hurt you. I could not hear about this sort of thing ever again, okay? You won't. Just made things a little tense, a little awky. Wait, the episode's done already? I feel like it just started. This is actually one of the funnier episodes that we've watched. I liked how the, the Jimmy and Kim scene was shot, you know, at the last one where they were sitting on the bed and she kind of was like, Jimmy, this is like a slippery slope. You can't be doing this. But little do we know, Saul Goodman is all about being like, kind of cheating the law a little bit, a little bit slimy here and there, you know? But it's interesting to see how it comes off. What is a cobbler for shoes? Repairs, restores footwear. Okay, that's what I thought. Not like make shoes. They repair and restore foot. I thought we were going in that direction. No, we went in the dessert direction and that man sat in the pie. He wiggled and he cried. The show is hilarious. I'm having so much fun with it. Um, and I just want to see more of Jimmy's shenanigans, but I know that if he wants to be a lawyer, he has to stop them. We're gonna continue very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.